I then met another veteran statesman of Ceylon, the former UNP Prime Minister Sir John Kotalawala. He's a gay and flamboyant figure, a rich country squire who owns a graphite mine in Ceylon and a farm in southern England. When I called on him, his garden was full of schoolgirls playing cricket. Some political observers in Ceylon don't take Sir John very seriously anymore, but he still manages to enjoy life. Sir John, you've been described as very pro-British, is that true? Well, it is true. Good. Uh, what can Britain do to help Ceylon? Uh, it can always help us in purchasing our produce, bringing industries into this country, and helping us in general to get on in life. Sir John, what are your political ambitions at the moment? My political ambitions are to have a quiet time. <laughs> You're not... <laughs> I've, done, I've done enough now. You're not standing for this election. I hope not to stand unless something mm -hmm. arises. But if Mr. Dudley Sinanayaka becomes Prime Minister, would you like to be Governor General? That's his wish, no? not my wish. But it would be your wish too. Well, if I'm called upon to do a job of work, mm -hmm. I'll certainly do it for my country. Now, in that position, what remedies would you propose for Salon's troubles? Well, we must... UNP must come in. At least we must have a set of people who can have a stable government in this country. Mm -hmm. So I suppose I'll do all I can to help them. What are the most urgent problems? The urgent problems is first to bring law and order into this. Get the people to have a desire to work instead of get money for jam. And what about solving economic problems? One, one of the economic problems has to be solved by getting more industries, more people on agriculture, and more people employed in different uh, employments. What do you think of the present government of Mr. Dayanayaka? Is there a government? 